Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode of Public Recap Videos. Tonight on this episode, we'll be taking a look at the top 10 worst customer versus employee moments of all time. These are the craziest and most entitled customers that were caught on camera. Now we have a lot of great clips to get through tonight, but before we start, please make sure to slap a like on this video and subscribe with notifications on. With that being said, let's jump right into it. And coming up first tonight, an entitled customer has just been denied a refund, so she pulls out her video camera and records herself harassing the employee. The subway employee goes on to say that normally he would have no no issue giving a refund to a customer, but he is adamant he won't be issuing this customer with a refund due to her entitled attitude. He claims that she has been nothing but rude and disrespectful and goes on to tell her to get out of his store. This sets the woman off and she continues to harass the employee for quite some time. She even goes as far as threatening to send her video to corporate. Let's take a look. Checking you, you could have refunded me my money. Sir, refund me my money. Refund me my money. You got the receipt, you got your sandwich and your chips. Refund me my money. Refund me my money. Refund me my money. And three, you're Refund me my clothes. money. You're violating customer service, dude. Refund me my money. You're violating. Refund me my money. You're you're violating. Violating. Refund me my money. So you hung up in my face when I asked to speak no, to your manager. Okay. I'm not okay. I'm Go not call, call whoever you need to call. Uh, call whoever you need to call. I don't need to have any type of attitude when I got my receipt and the stuff that you sold me. See how it's crumbled up? You crumbled up. I don't care if it was ripped up. It's no, you don't want me to do Dude, dude, dude. You're right, going to so give you, me my stuff. You're going to give me my I stuff. I did what the requirements. I'm sorry. Okay, now, okay. But you been too disrespectful. Three, you don't try to talk down. So when I'm, I'm being sorry. disrespectful, that means yeah, I don't have yeah, the right to get my money back? I already told back. you. Already well, hush. Call, call, call the police. Call the police. And so they can come give me my money back. Hurry up. Right. Hurry up. Right. Do your job. Do your job. Do your job sandwich boy hanging up in somebody's face when they call and ask to speak to a manager i don't believe you're a manager that's probably why surely you're not because they would have refunded me my money by now surely you're not you're mad about your job or something you're mad about it telling me i crumbled up my receipt and so therefore okay hold up let's look at this receipt that he gave me he said i crumbled it up but it's right here what I paid for with my debit card. Here go the sandwich and here go the stuff. So he's telling me because of my attitude that I can't get my refund. And coming up next, we jump right into the middle of a heated exchange between two customers and two IHOP employees. The customers filming had gone up to the waitresses who had served them and complained after receiving the wrong drink. Once again, normally these employees would have no issue rectifying the situation, but decided to bite back after they had been approached with disrespect. The employees started giving these two entitled customers a taste of their own medicine, which leads to a massive shouting match. Threats and insults are made and the situation continues to worsen as neither party show any sign of backing down. Let's play the clip and see how this whole situation came to be. Know the menu well. Oh, shut the f keep talking. Uh, <laughs> for real. Keep you guys talking. are funny. Get out of my face. We love that for you. Go comb your hair. Ooh. Real, she, she really <laughs> out uh, here. We really oh, out girl, here. This is real, this is real Karen real. stuff. Here. This is IHOP. IHOP. Like this, so. Oh, just, well, All just nice liars. and respectful. Liars, right? you knew? Oh, we're liars, but we haven't lied to anybody else, so why are we going to lie to so you? So why lie to us? Why hey, lie exactly, to what's the point? What's the point no. of lying to you out so, of nowhere? Uh, okay, y'all no, are mad over up, up. lemonade and iced tea. Okay, yeah. What but, the press this fuck? Press okay. I'm literally years old. You guys are over here arguing with me. And how long have you been Lemonade and tea. And does that matter? Because you look like you don't even work you oh, look girl, at I'm a business owner thank okay, you how, how much sales do you actually make how much sales do you actually make how many sales do you actually make since your 875, 875 is literally what she makes in one make day your two weeks is don't one day go go somewhere she really out here they out here commenting they racist as how are we racist Oh, didn't you just say her nappy hair needs to be combed? Who uh, said it? Who? Which one of y'all? Which one of y'all? Who? Which one of y'all said go comb your hair? Which one? Exactly. Exactly. Overfilling them lips. Overfilling them lips. No, don't tell us to get out. I just said it again. What are you gonna do about it? Exactly. It was your mistake. She's new. Real. Exactly. You said it from the beginning. From the beginning. I'm getting into it now. I wasn't Bro. in the beginning. I let it slide, but I'm getting into it now. It was her mistake. She on said God. And y'all want to throw fit on oh, lemonade and oh tea. God. After oh calling God. us poor, oh after oh kicking God. us out, after cussing us out, 
after all of that, yes, we will make it a big deal. You named us, you called us every name in the Okay, and up next, our video starts off with two customers who have found themselves in the middle of an argument with a Taco Bell employee. After some back and forth, the two men demand that the Taco Bell employee give them their money back. The Taco Bell employee refuses, and this sets the pair of men off. They start getting loud and making threats, which gives the Taco Bell employee no other option but to call the police on the men. One of the men then decide that he has had enough and gets out of his car before running over to the drive through window to confront the woman face to face. Listen, no, listen. No, you don't want to give me my money back. Just give me my money back. Give us our money back. Give us our money back. Give me money back. Give me. I got you. Give me. Give me. No, no, we're not here. Here, here, here. I don't care. Here, 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 here. Give her our drinks back. Give her our drinks back. No. Start showing me my money back. Give us our money. Don't talk to me like that. Give us our money at. Where's our money? Do you understand? Yes. Where's our money at? You act right in my way. Bro, 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 bro. Just bro. Give us our cash. Give us our cash. You're in the wrong. I have the cops on the You're in the wrong. The cops. Bro, I'm not gonna do that to her, okay? Bro. Bro, I'm not playing with this. Cuz, give us our money back, cuz. Do not get the f out my drive. Give us, give us our money. Nah, get out of my drive. Give us our money back. Hey. Are, are you a manager? I'm not going yeah, nowhere. Manager, go. we, we asked all right, you to right. we'll no, your money. No, we, we, we know that money right now. That's okay. it. That's it's, it. All you got to do is give us something to the That's all know. you got to do. You got to move. All right. There I'm you go. Come on, so fing and coming up next, we jump into the middle of another heated exchange between a customer and an employee in the middle of a busy drive through That video starts off with an entitled customer giving attitude to the employee through the speaker box. The employee responds back by yelling at the customer, telling her to leave the drive through The woman then says that she is being treated unfairly and says that she is not happy. She goes on to tell the Taco Bell employee that she will be posting her video all over social media sites like TikTok. The Taco Bell employee eventually snaps and tells the woman again to leave because she would not get served in his drive through through. Karen being Karen refuses though and continues to hold up the line while causing a massive scene. I get nothing because of what? Because you're being disrespectful. I haven't said anything to you guys but you were talking to us disrespectfully. And this is all being recorded right now. So you it can, can be recorded. This is I know. recorded in my drive through Now go. This is not your drive through We didn't do anything. I'm surely gonna post this on TikTok. We can know about Taco Bell. This is Taco Bell in Erlanger. This ain't Erlanger, bud. This what is, is this? Good. Dixie, Dixie Highway, y'all. I know I live here, babes. And I also live in LA. Don't do too much, because you can get sued. So who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. You, you yeah, are? Because no. I'm a customer. I haven't done anything to you, and I'm no. not moving out of this line. I'm not. You're not a customer because you're not getting nothing in my sky. You're dope. I'm what? Oh yeah, who do we need to speak to? What's the what's your uh corporate? One eight hundred, get the f out of my drive through. Oh, oh yeah, she's very disrespectful. Y'all hear this one here? I don't know her name, but we are at Taco Bell and Dixie. You guys heard how it started off? How they were talking to the customers? Now they said they can't serve us, and we made it here before the time. Um, You're being disrespectful to we, my manager. I, I haven't. I was asking who they were talking to. You're being disrespectful. I don't have to put it's up It's been with recorded. It, it has not been disrespectful. So, ma'am, ma'am, am I able to purchase my meal? Because I haven't done anything. You apologize. I'll give you your food. Ma'am, I'm, what, what, I'm not trying to be rude, but what am I apologizing for? Your mouth. And up next, Karen is in the middle of being kicked out of a bar for getting too loud. She is filmed flapping her arms all over the place as she talks down to the bar manager. Another woman approaches this drunk Karen and tells her to chill out before going on to warn her that she is being filmed. This sets the Karen off and she starts to direct her anger towards the woman. She is then filmed getting into the face of the person filming her before getting even more aggressive and making some pretty serious threats. Let's play the clip and take a look. What did I do wrong? <laughs> Oh, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Hey, whoa, 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 whoa,
what you're doing right now is wrong, okay? What Just did I do wrong? Sit in the chair and let him take you up to your room. Thank okay. you. That's my point. Whoa, That's whoa. Point. Oh, um, look, lady, I don't care who I'm you are. I'm a Republican. I didn't do anything wrong. You're going to go viral? <laughs> I don't give a f What did I do wrong? What you're, did I do wrong? You're just acting a little bit like weird right now. I didn't do anything wrong. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? He's acting a bit much. <laughs> you, had, you had a great day. That's it. You had a great day. We have to go to bed now. You got to videotape it because you don't know what they're going to do. So you have to get it all on record. <laughs> yeah, you tried. She, she didn't show them feeling it. And coming up next, we feature one of the most craziest and wild customer versus employee moments ever. A woman's card had just been declined, so she decides to put the blame on the employee before going on to trash the entire store. She is filmed getting super aggressive before picking up everything and anything in her sight and throwing it at the employee. The employee eventually has enough and provides this entitled woman with a healthy dose of instant karma. Let's play the clip and see how the store employee handles this whacked out woman. And our next video starts off with a store manager telling two customers that they do not have her consent to film her and must stop recording her immediately. The two women refuse and are soon to find themselves arguing with the employee. One of the customers go on to say that if the employees would like them to stop filming, then she will have to either write that down or remove her mask and repeat herself as they claim to be deaf. The employee responds by telling them to put their phone down, otherwise she will get security to escort the pair out of the shopping mall. I'm gonna get my manager. So you're gonna have to pull that. You're either, either you're gonna have to write that down for her. So I'm not an interpreter, and I'm not going to interpret for you. I'm gonna get a manager. I am not an interpreter. I do not need to interpret for my mom. I am not here to interpret for my mom, even though I communicate. This is not my job to interpret for my mom. Hi, ladies. I do not authorize my consent for you to videotape me. So you will have to put your phone down. Okay. Um, you need me to write that down, what you just said. Uh, you put, you either have to remove your mask, because I am deaf. Or write down what you just said. Or write said, down because I'm not what gonna, you said. I'm not going to interpret for you. You can put your phone down, or I'll get security to escort you guys out. Okay, then you need to tell her that. You can't tell me what to do you're right, regarding the mask, ma'am. I don't understand what's happening right now. She can't hear what you're saying. Okay, and I apologize for that. I'm assuming that's why you guys are shopping together. But at this time, we went over the rules and the regulations. So that's perfectly fine. Yeah, we're happy, to us, we're happy you assist what is your you name? online. She can't hear what you just said. Okay. So if you want her to stop videotaping you, that's perfectly fine. Just tell her by writing it down no, or pulling her out. We're not playing games here. And up next, we jump right into the middle of a crazy argument between a man and a bank teller. The bank teller goes on to tell the man to lower his voice. Otherwise, she will call the police and have the man escorted out of the bank. The customer responds back by telling her that he does not care who she calls and says that he is going nowhere. The bank teller goes on to tell the man that she does not appreciate him yelling at her like that and says she understands his frustrations, but she is simply just trying to do her job. Let's play the clip and see how this whole situation went down. That's not customer service when somebody lives 130 miles away. I know. I, I tell you, when I walk out of this damn bank, I'm going to get on Twitter. I'm going to blast the hell out of J.P. Morgan for not taking cash in a bank. That's the most stupidest thing I've ever heard. Right. Well, I feel that way? And that's crazy. It's crazy. Somebody walks in the customer gets cash and you won't take it. You and you to, won't make an exception. Lady, I don't care who the f you call. This is ridiculous not to take cash on the, uh, It is Chase. It's not me personally. I appreciate you not yelling at me like that. It yeah, but, but you cash. have the ability to do customer service. Well, well, Why can you not take a $50 bill? I can just tell, tell it to you. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Losing like 100 or 200. So it does have to be 
I asked to print it, but I don't know why. So if my mom walks up the fifty dollar bill, you're going, you're not going to take the cash from her. If it's her credit card, then we happily would take the payment for her. If you were a signer on that account, we would happily make that payment for you. Okay. Well, I've never heard. That's. A, I'm still going to get on social media and blast J.P. Morgan Chase for this. Oh, I am. Time. Trust me, I am. And as you know, social media gets a whole lot of attention. So I'm not going to call Chase and complain. I'm going to blast him on social media. Either way, whatever you want to do is fine. And this next woman sticks her video camera into the face of a Motel 6 employee and starts to call him out for his poor customer service. She says that prior to her filming, the Motel 6 employee had called her numerous offensive names. The Motel 6 employee responds back to the customer by telling her that she is not allowed to be filming him inside of his establishment and tells her to leave. She tells him that she will stop, but goes on to say that she will be posting it all over social media. Let's check it out. Did Sonia get back to you yet? Has Sonia gotten back to you at all? Or are you just not going to answer? Because I would like to be able to get in my room and my cat and make sure that she's okay. Pay 9170. I do not have to pay 9170 because we were charged for Saturday and that's what we were told. And you won't talk to your general manager to find this out. Instead, you call the police. And then you tell me that I'm a bitch. You called me a bitch. You called me a bitch. A customer a bitch. And you had terrible customer service. The Motel 6 in Southgate, this guy wants to let a cat sit in the room by itself because we were told we paid until Saturday, but he's telling me I have to pay now because of some system error, because he won't talk to his general manager to get this fixed right now. And instead he calls the police on me. No, it's illegal to videotape people without the consent. Oh, well, this is gonna go everywhere, thank you. This is a public area. Well, it's not. This yes, is private it's, property. It's public. And that is all we have time for tonight, guys. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Public Freak Out Videos. If you enjoyed tonight's video, then please leave a like so I know you enjoyed it. If you'd like to watch more videos like this, then go ahead and click one of the videos that are on your screen now. Until next time, thank you again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.